When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long, developed a mindset of a winner. The truth is most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward, and it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube, go to search bar, and go channel Take Your Life Back Today show. If you never fail, you're not trying hard enough in life because we all should fail. First, let me ask you, have you ever failed? Think about that question. If your answer is yes, then why did you fail? Did you bite off more than maybe that you could chew? Maybe overestimate yourself or did a personal fault uh, shine through in the exact moment you needed to be at your best? Being able to identify a moment where you completely bombed and then being able to identify why you bombed is a huge pillar of maturity. If you know why you failed, you have the ability to address that problem, improve, and then try again. That's the key, trying again. My second question for you would be, uh, did you feel that you had done all that you could to succeed? Sometimes our biggest fails have nothing to do with us at all. Sometimes you fail regardless of how hard you have tried or how much you wanted to succeed and you have to be okay with that. Sure, knowing that you did your best is a sad consolation prize in comparison to what you could have had if things had worked out, but that is life, my friends. Be proud that you were willing to go for it. Most people can't say that they would have had the guts to even try like you did. Who cares you failed? You try again. My question for those who can't remember a time where they have failed, why are you okay with living a mediocre life? Now, before you send me hate emails, consider this. How do you know the limits of your abilities if you never challenge yourself and test those limits? How do you know? Challenging yourself means pushing yourself to the point where you uh, fail because otherwise there's still that potential that you could be capable of more. 
no weightlifter in the world, would ever stick to 20 pounds just because they know for a fact that they can bench that. They would increase the weight until they were at a brink of not being able to lift it, and then, and only then, to work to push beyond that limit. Living a mediocre life just means that you are willing to settle for less than your best or pursuing less than your greatest ambitions. It has nothing to do with comparing yourself to others because for some reason or another, people benching 20 pounds may be a feat in every sense of the word. Folks, reminder, just because you fail doesn't mean that you are a failure. And just because you may never fail doesn't mean that you're a success. This is what it can look like to live a mediocre life, fail-free life. You take only uh, you, you only take classes in school that you consider to be easy A's. You only ask out people that you know for a fact are into you and, and you think aren't out of uh, your league. You apply for jobs that you are uh, overqualified for and never ask for a pay raise or promotion. Instead, you wait and you hope that your supervisor recognizes your worth. You let your fear of looking foolish and making mistakes keep you from trying something new that you've always wanted to do and learn to do. Friends, sure, you might have gotten a 4.0, but how much did you really learn by taking classes that you, that you already kind of knew that were easy for you? You may have married that girl or boy who originally said yes to being your boyfriend or your girlfriend, but are you truly head over heels, in love with them, or do you uh, uh, still regret never pursuing the person that you actually throw at the world of for fear of rejection? Friends, it really comes down to you got the job with ease, but does work in there begin to take a toll on your spirit day by day, menial task by menial tasks? You never uh, embarrass yourself by going back to school or learning how to ice skate or whatever it was that you wanted to try, but at night, do you still dream about ice skating? And at work, do you still think about how different your life would have been if you had gone after that uh, degree? Think about these things. You live in an attainable life, but did you actually attain a life that you want to live? Is your only consolation that you are, by your definition of the word, a success? Does that quote-unquote success sustain your soul? Let me be clear, my friends. The only person who can question how hard you are trying or if you are a living, fulfilling life is you. And if you can proudly, and I mean proudly say that you live a life, a successful life, than you do, and no one else's opinions really do matter. But if you're not sure, try listening to your most recent epic fails. And either uh, A, learn from your failure and, and vow to do better. B, accept that you did your best and move forward. Uh, or C, try it again and again and again. The first two are pretty common uh, sit, uh, sensical, but you may ask, why would I try to do something I've already failed at once and will probably fail at again? Well, it's pretty simple. Because the hell with it, that's why. Because you need to do it and do it and do it until you get it right. I once tried to do a front flip off a diving board at a local country club. I was afraid of looking dumb, but I did it anyway. I once sang on national radio, but I did it. I know I didn't sound good, but I did it again. And I completely belly flopped on that, that diving. The logical follow-up would be to keep my head down and pray that my friends didn't make fun of me for too long. But no, the hell with that. I continuously tried that dive. I continuously sang two more songs on national radio. And again, I belly flopped. And again, I didn't sound great, but people admired my tenacity. At that point, the entire pool was watching and I thought I heard the cute lifeguard short because he was laughing so hard. And you know what? I tried it again and I finally got it and finally did a perfect front flip into the pool. I finally sang that third song the best. Just kidding. 
uh, I did belly flap a little. It wasn't the best dive, but I still did it. And not caring about others and what they think and having the guts just to go and sing and do belly flaps uh, is, is probably the best antidote to failure because you keep trying. So keep trying and trying. It gets easier if you're willing to keep your head up and have a sense of humor about it. Folks, failing once can make it easier to actually go for it again. After the first two belly flops and the two songs, what what I care uh, if I flopped or didn't sing again one more time. This lesson can be applied to just about anything. It can keep you from withdrawing from a class after bombing a test, suggesting an idea at work, even though your last idea was shot down or asking someone uh, out, even though that you got rejected last time you asked a uh, person on a date. The quote, don't let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game, almost sums this whole video up and together. But I would add that after striking out once, you realize that it's not the end of the world and it's no longer a fear that will deter you from playing the game that you love so much. And our game is called Life. We will continue. So reach further, try harder, fail harder, and repeat over and over and over again. You'll reap the rewards of challenging yourself because as soon as you are willing to accept that you could spectacularly fail, then you are also opening yourself up for the possibility of spectacularly succeed. And if you don't succeed, oh well, you try again. Well, at least you won't live a boring life filled with regret. You'll grow as a person by addressing your faults and discovering new personal limits beyond what you could have had uh, ever imagined. Fear of public embarrassment or rejection will never deter you from pursuing what you want and you'll be well on your way to attaining the life that you want to live rather than living an attainable life. If that isn't success, then I don't know what is. Want to know more about pushing yourself past your fear of failure? Tune in next week on our podcast and YouTube channel to see and hear about push, pushing yourself past your fear of failure will work wonders in your life. Tune in for that. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a total stranger. You can help that stranger for the rest of your life and it can help you and your life. God loves you. Reach to God each and every morning, each and every lunchtime, each and every evening, and ask for guidance and, uh, and uh, direction. May God bless each and every one watching all over the world. And if you're in a homeless shelter, God has a home for you. Just go to him and he'll put his arms around you. May God bless each and every one of you and we'll take care and talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.